Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today it's a very unusual video. It's called Extreme Declutter, as you've seen in the title. It's just because it's starting maybe a month ago when just we start the end of winter in Australia. And I thought my house was extremely disorganized, not from the outside, from the inside. I'm talking about cupboards, closet, wardrobes, everything was all over the shops. So this video is for you if you want to be a little bit more organized at home. And if you like me, you are a very busy person, no matter what you're doing, running businesses, running a family, running both, you know. And when you're ready for the week, you want the food being prepped, you want exactly what is at the same place in the cupboard. You want to do those routine in the morning super fast and efficient. So that means you need to have your house organized. So I went to IKEA and I bought a lot of boxes. I mean, 20 plus boxes. This video is not sponsored, but I'm going to link as well those. So I don't remember the name of those boxes, but I bought this small one like that. They have different colors. I take the black and then I bought the big one like that with the handles on the side. And this is Oscar box with this leash, the color, baby wipes, all this stuff. And then I thought, I'm going to start organizing the kitchen. So I'm going to show you the kitchen one by one and how those little boxes change totally the way I'm living. <laughs> and let's start by the kitchen, guys. So as you can tell now, I got all those little boxes in the kitchen. Um, they actually organized the spices, the flour, um, the cans, I had to have those cans everywhere, not packing with each other properly. Stacking, stacking, that was the word, not packing, stacking. <laughs> and then I use a lot of glass container for a matter of fact, actually, I try to get rid of it of any plastic in the house. Uh, well, you're gonna tell me I got the plastic boxes, but in terms of putting the food or any types of tea, sugar, whatever. So I'm replacing with the glass. And I like to have now go those clear glasses when I can see the tea. I'm a big tea drinker, guys. So I do the same for the vitamins. And on the other side, what I'm showing is um, the container for the dry food and in the fridge. I'm not gonna show you the fridge, but I have those big containers in glass as well from Ikea as well, so they're super good. They have this sealed vacuum thing, and I prepare my kale, the salad, everything, so when I'm ready to eat, it's ready to eat. And then uh, I put as well for some cupboards, and then for the dog, the dog has a full cupboard for himself, his food, the medication, um, uh, the color, the, the, it, it's my dog, okay? It's, it's family. <laughs> But since now I've been putting all those, I'm not going to lie, it took forever, probably almost a full day for this kitchen to be clean, to remove what I don't need. Less is more, and now my kitchen is decluttered and I feel so, so good. So I recommend you to do the same. Maybe IKEA is not your cup of tea, I don't know, but those boxes, they're really cheap. I think they're three or four dollars the box. So that's why you can buy so many and it really changed the kitchen. So that would be for the kitchen domestic <laughs> moment. <laughs> so after the kitchen was the living room. My living room is extremely minimalist, I like to say. There's one area when I like to read and I got all my books and yes, I do organize my books by colors and size. I don't know why I do that, it makes me feel good. So don't judge me on this one. Then I got the catch. Then I have a lot of fronds, uh, first to protect the catch because I have a white leather catch and the dog, so it's perfect. And uh, that was really cheap as well. Still not sponsored, God, I'm not sponsored in this video by Ikea, okay? But I really love the items and then um, I got this little thing that makes my life easier. But the thing I, I found out, oh! Draws organizer. So I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. It's amazing. It's just been felicitating my life so much easier. And I can open it. I know where the glasses are. I know where the mask, the keys. 
um, the, 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 the cash or the, the change that I need if I want to buy some bread. That's always handy for that. And I love it. It just literally took me again. I'm going to show you this furniture that I'm filming right now, but it's just he I gained so much time. It took me a lot of time, sometimes days, and probably a couple of weekends to organize the whole house. But I know if one day I move out sometime next year, I just have to pick up everything, putting in boxes. It's already organized. And I have to say, being a bit minimalist, being a bit clean and declutter, it does really do good in your head. Uh, it just removes a bit of a stress. And when I'm sitting on a couch and I'm looking around, I just kept my favorite object, the favorite thing I love doesn't have to be plenty, but the drawers, uh, it, to me, that, that was, a, it was amazing. <laughs> For the little story, in France, especially in Paris, probably similar to New York, we live in tiny apartments with very expensive rent, does it? Yeah. So the fact we're doing, because in Paris apartments, usually they don't have much uh, wardrobe or storage, so usually we have boxes, we have a, a storeroom somewhere and we swap for the season. I'm sure you do that somewhere. I don't like to see all my winter clothes when it's summertime. And because on top of that, you have, if you live in a country when it's more cold than hot during the year, you're gonna have more cold clothes available. Anyway, let's go to the point. So I always keep the same habit. So I'm swapping from winter to summer. Forget a bit the autumn and spring season and not really season here like in Europe. And I do the same for the bed linen, for the bags. I don't use the same bag usually for winter that I do for summertime. I tidy up as well for the bed linen. There's some um, bed linen a little bit thicker, which I love in, in winter time, but in summer I don't need to. So I wash them, I tidy up them and I put in a box. And then when we need again for the next winter, we wash them again. and. You know, you got the thing, the same. So I keep always as well for those uh, drawers, the belt, the scarf, um, the socks as well. And I've been reading again this Marie Kondo and she's always said to tidy up everything you are drop from head to toe. So meaning the first drawer should be something around your head, like bennies and stuff like that. And then should be the belt and then should be the socks. So you have to tidy up as by sense of the way you dressed up, which I find very funny. I had no idea, but I'm already doing it. But I'm lucky enough to have in a space with what we call wardrobes in Australia. And I always have one when I do the jackets, the winter, the heavy cardigan in wool. I'm sorry if you can hear some noise, some neighbors are installing the carpet in their apartment. Look at me. And then I got the, the, the shoes as well. They always organize on the top the one I'm using the most. And I can see as well by the color and the style. So yeah, I can wait for summertime. And then I have a full side of, in the wardrobe, it's all about my summer dresses, jumpsuit, um, overall shirt dress, and that's, that's summer, that's soon. I'm heading to this part of the, the closet, I'm very happy, it's just like always getting warmer. And then finally, we're gonna go to the main one. I've been filming room to room and someone is being following me. Hey, bonjour mon titi, bonjour mon chien, bonjour mon bébé d'amour, you say hello, you say hello old man, yeah I love you too, alright, so here is the main room, um, it's the biggest bedroom in my apartment but it's actually my office, because it's where I spend my time and the rest of the apartment, it's for Oscar. But here behind me, I swap between the winter and the summer, and I'm gonna show you the boxes and everything. And that really changed my life. So as usual, you know, you have seen thousands of videos about declutter. It's one pile, you're not sure yet, you might be attached sentimentally. And the second pile is for charity. You don't need to, but it doesn't have to be a wreck. Just give only good clothes to charity. And the pile number three is keeping. And sometimes I'm keeping clothes that I haven't wear in one, two years. So I know I'm attached emotionally to them, except one or two as an exception. 
I usually, I'm not someone, I'm not a hoarder. I don't keep things, so I like having this refresh, renew thing all the time. But, but for the environment, um, do not buy, which is gonna be very surprising you. You think I have a lot of clothes, but it's actually a lot of clothes that I've been building up in my collection as basic for years. So all the basic on the top, you know this top, this Japanese one and the back from Zara, but I bought it maybe five, six years ago and I love it and you love it as well. So I'm just gonna show you the wardrobe. On one side, as you can tell, I tidy up from the top, from the cotton top because it's still a bit chill in the evening in spring here. And then the white one with, or the clear one with long sleeves. And then I kept the t-shirt on the right hand side, the white one, the dark one. It's always by color and by, by type. I know. Then the jeans, I have plenty of jeans in one of my winter, but right now I'm swapping and I just select the jeans and I'm wearing the most. I kept my white jean completely at the bottom because I'm trying not to rub these white jeans with the dark one for probably logic reason. My two sweater that I use a lot for working your scarf, the shorts, and then here is by colors again. I know I'm a bit, I'm a bit ODD. So one is the beige caramel. Here you got the singlet. And on the other one, you have my dark tops. The blue one, which you do probably recognize. And then it's a mix of white and cream. And I keep a couple of warm cardigan at the back because I'm still wearing them on the evening. And in the bottom I got the same, I got the skirt on one side, the pants on one side, and in the drawers you will have, the first one will be my everyday lingerie that I just grabbed, and the second one I decided I, I roll all my casual pants, pyjamas, lacra pants when I go to do some sport, I think it's much tidier. And the last drawer is the summer drawer. It's one side all the sarongs, pareo, doesn't matter you call that. And then on the other side is my swimmers. Um, in terms of very high lingerie thing, it's one of the box on the top. So on the top I got this winter box, the summer one, a little bit of everything. Obviously before doing all this order, I've done a lot of cleaning and then I kept, that's all my big lights and photos. And that's pretty much the way I organize my wardrobes and closet. But I finally, I love having all my clothes on the hangings, but as well I love when it's not too tight so I can moving around. They all washed and ironed. <laughs> oh, don't you think that? But at the end of the day, when I'm working 10, 15 hours per day, I know where's my stuff. I know when I have to go through the door, where are my shoes and everything. And the rule number one of to live in a declutter life, a declutter home, it's soon you use something, you put it back straight away. I think we used to say that for kids, it's like um, everything has a home. So you use your car keys, that's good. You come back, you put in a bowl or in a drawer, doesn't matter your system or oh, a hook, you know, tell me actually in comments, what is your tip in the house that you always do for years and years and be sure you never lose the keys, you always know where to find your glasses, etc. Leave me a comment. Let me know as well in comment if you like this type of video, if you're learning few things, because I know you love when I do few things a bit funny, but I know as well you love when you learn something from me, from my organization skills. I'm trying as much as I can, but let me know if you learned something or let me know a tip that I probably don't know, we don't know, and we want to, to know from you. So please share that in comments. And uh, yeah, so that was a fun video. It took me almost over a month to filming because it was never ready. And, uh, but it's a lot of work, but guys, please do it. No matter if you're in fall or if you're in spring, it's just about having a tidy, very highly organized house. And those boxes and with a bit of the order, it's a bit painful to go through. You know, I have two big giant bags to drop to Venice, which is Saint Vincent, which is a charity here in Australia. 
but you know what i feel good about it i'm just lighter it's a little bit of clothes that i order in the states so it takes forever to come here are coming but i'm not planning to buy for a while so the clothes you've seen that's what i'm gonna wear on a regular basis you know everything now don't forget to subscribe please did you see the channel just hit 60k <laughs> merci 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 Mwah, you have a lovely day so subscribe thumbs up share that with your entourage please bigger the channel is growing more people find it and more people enjoying it and more people we create this amazing community so i truly love it stop talking have a lovely day night evening weekends no matter have fun and you take care bye bye